Welcome to the Longwood University classroom on the Emporia campus. In this video, I will show you how to use the Polycom system used on this site. To begin, let's take a look at the remote. The remote on the right is the remote that works the TV. The remote on the left works the Polycom system. The microphone in front is what controls audio. Currently, there is a red light showing on the microphone. This means that audio for this site is currently on mute. By pushing the button in the middle, this ensures that audio is clear. Green lights will appear, meaning that audio can be heard on the other site. To get started, use your TV remote on the right to turn the TVs on. To do this, simply point your remote at the TV and push the red button. When the TVs are on, a blue light will appear at the bottom of the screen. After a few moments, your polycom views will show up. The screen on the right is the classroom view of this site. The screen on the left will be the classroom view of the off-site campus. If your screens do not show up, please ensure that your Polycom system and Echo 360 are on. A blue and green light on the front indicates that both systems are working properly. To change the view of the in-classroom screen, we will use our Polycom remote. The outer left circles, the outer left circle shows the volume for the polycom system. The inside arrows will change the view of the camera. For example, currently we are centered with our camera. If we'd like to move our camera to the right or left, we'll use the inside arrow keys to move the camera to the right or left. You can also use the up and down arrow keys to change your height. Once your camera position and volume are set, you're ready to start. When just doing general instruction, using this view is good. Both sites will be able to see students and the professor. Content can also be pushed using the Polycom system. The first method of pushing polycom, pushing content through the polycom, will be to use the desktop on site. To use the desktop, make sure that your blue polycom cable is plugged into the blue port on the back of your CPU. This blue cable ensures that the polycom will push the CPU content. Once that is plugged in, you must change your view on your screen. To do this, simply take your Polycom remote, push the right content button on the top of your remote. When you push this content button, three options appear on your screen. Move, take, use the arrows to move to option three, which is a laptop or desktop. When Send Computer appears, content will push through. The professor can now use the desktop to use internet websites or information on the desktop to show. This screen will appear in both sites. To go back to your student view, you will simply push the content button again and select the first option, which is the video. The second option for content is to use the Elmo or document camera. Again, you have to move your polycom cord to this 
port. You will simply unplug the port from the CPU and plug it into the blue port on the back of the Elma. Once this port is plugged in, your Polycom might already recognize that the document camera is working. Anything you place on the document camera will show up on both sites. If your document camera is not automatically recognized, you would do the same thing we did for the desktop. Push your content button and move it to the third option. Like the desktop, to get from the document camera view back to the classroom, you do the same thing. Simply push your content button on your remote and choose the first option to go back to your classroom view. The last option for pushing content would be to use a private laptop. This also requires the Polycom core to be put plugged into the laptop. Simply remove your Polycom cord from the Elmo and plug it into the blue or gray port on the laptop. Ensure that your cable is pushed in tightly and secured tightly enough so that content may push through. Like the document camera, the Polycom automatically recognizes this, desktop, this laptop. To change view from the laptop, simply push your content button again and go back to your original view, which is number one. and you're back at your original view for student classroom. When finished with the class, ensure that your microphone is back on mute by pushing the button in the middle and the lights turn red. To finish your classroom instruction, take your remote for your TVs, push the red button and ensure that both TVs are off. This completes your Polycom lesson.